Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about C++ classes. They're much like uh, what you saw in Java, but they also, in Java or C Sharp, it's roughly the same. Uh, but their behaviors are a little different, uh, actually a lot different. So I'm going to say class person and put some brackets in here. I'm going to drop a semicolon right there. I'm not going to explain why just now, but just know that you need to do it. Um, and then to set visibility, we say public, or you can say private, uh, things like that. But then after the um, public or private, you can s you can give it its members. For example, string. And again, to use string, I need to impound include string, and then using std string. I'll explain more how that works later. But for now, I just know we have to roll with it. So we can say first name, string last name. Um, and these two members are now public. Uh, ideally, we don't have members be public, but then that's a, that's up for de debate as well. Uh, void main. Uh, and now I'm going to say person. Person. Now in C Sharp or Java, this would look like a reference to person that has not been initialized because we did not assign it to a new person. But C++ is a little is a little, bah, excuse me, different. Uh, basically, this declares uh, an instance of person on the stack. So in, in C Sharp or C Java, or in Java, you'd say new person. It's just natural. And this always goes on the heap. And person would be a reference, generally a 4-byte reference uh, sitting on a stack. Uh, but instead, C++, when you say person, person, you get a person. And instead of going on the heap, it is on the stack. So then I can further uh, use person and say uh, first name gets Jamie, person dot last name gets King, and we can also print these members. So C out again to use C out. I need I O stream. If you noticed, I was able to insert a line that way. I, I'm just doing. I'm hitting Control Enter to do that. Uh, using std c out. Let me cut this line, put it up here. Just for some reason, I like to be alphabetical. Um, so I can see out. So I'm going to shove into see out person dot first name, and let's put a space in here and say person dot last name, and uh, we run it. Control F five. Hopefully it builds. You see build started here, build succeeded. We have Jamie King. And again, uh, it says press any key to continue. We didn't output a new line after uh, Jamie King. So that's class that's that's the foundation of classes there in that now we declare a person, uh, we can uh, assign it members, and this person object sits on the stack.